In Los Angeles tonight, the O.J. Simpson case continues to dominate the news and the gossip circuit. Today there was a major development. Simpson dropped one well-known lawyer and hired another. Still no formal charges in the murder of Simpson's ex-wife and a man. Howard Weitzman is now off the case. He says he left because of his personal relationship with the former NFL star and a lack of time to deal with the case. Weitzman had said O.J. Simpson was on his way to the airport when Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman were stabbed to death. Today, O.J. Simpson's new attorney, Robert Shapiro, gave a different account. At the time that this murder took place, O.J. was at home awaiting to get into a limousine to take him to the airport. O.J. will do everything he can to cooperate with them to help solve this horrible murder. The change in attorneys comes as several published reports indicate a growing trail of evidence against Simpson, including a pair of bloody gloves, blood stains on the driveway at O.J. Simpson's home and in his Bronco, and scratches police saw on O.J. Simpson when he was questioned. O.J. Simpson and his former wife had a stormy relationship during their marriage. Published reports indicate that since January, police have responded to several domestic disturbance complaints at her townhouse. Despite repeated requests from NBC News, police have refused to release reports documenting those complaints. Investigators have also sealed tapes of original 911 calls summoning police to the murder scene. They say the tapes contain evidence. Today, Ronald Goldman's family held an emotional news conference outside their home in suburban Agoura, California. He was a special human being. That <laughs> didn't deserve what's happened. The family took some comfort in unofficial reports of Ron Goldman's final moments. If what few little things we've heard about the tragedy in any way are true about Ron putting up quite a fight, maybe to help. The Goldman family refused to comment on O.J. Simpson's possible involvement in the crime. Since Monday morning when the murders were first reported, O.J. Simpson's home has become the scene of a growing media frenzy. Cameras and reporters have been camped out in front of the gates around the clock.